But uh, I think what I'm really trying to say is that 10 years from now, we'll look at all these things as sort of trivial and foolish. Uh, and maybe a way to... Uh, to what, which things exactly? The things that we're trying to do with AI right, today. Right, right, right. They're limited by the limits of our imagination. So uh, a way I try to explain this, and this relates to quantum, is um, so you know the field effect transistor was invented by Lilienfeld in Germany in 1926. Um, and then it took a couple of decades for folks at Bell Labs to actually make one that worked. Um, but here's what people don't remember. Then from 1945 or from 1946, it took until 1951 before the first commercial application of the transistor happened, and that was the tone generator mm -hmm. to make beeps and burps to switch telephones. And then another four years before the second commercial application, which was the AM transistor radio. Notice there's no digital computer in there. And, and, so if, and if you go all the way back to 1926, Lilienfeld could not conceive of a digital computer. Uh, so I think the things we're thinking about in AI today are the moral equivalent of tone generators right. and AM transistor radios. What will be the real things that will just transform our lives that we can't live without all day, every day? I, I think we're yet to see those things. Right. 